I am Aditya Rao and this is my demonstration of experiment 1 for electronics lab. In this experiment, we are going to measure the voltage transfer characteristics of the 7400 NAND gate. Here is the list of components that we will require. We will need one IC7400 quad 2 input NAND gate. We will also need one trim pot 1 kilo ohm potentiometer, one breadboard, a voltmeter and the ADLM1000 kit. This is the 7400 chip pinout. The IC7400 is a quad 2 input NAND gate. Out of the four NAND gates, we will use the first one. Pin 1 and 2 are the inputs and pin 3 is the output. The circuit is connected as per the diagram shown. One input is pulled high to 5 volts. The other input is given voltage to the 1 kilo ohm trim pot, which is a variable resistor. The trim pot works as follows. Turning it one revolution anti-clockwise increases the resistance by 100 ohms. Turning it one revolution clockwise decreases the resistance by 100 ohms. I have used Fritzing as a breadboard layout planner and a schematic generator. These are the power rails. The red line is 5 volts and the blue line is ground or 0 volts. The wires are connected as per the schematic. When the 7400 is wired like this, with one input pulled high, it behaves as a NOT gate or an inverter. The input pin 2 has a bypass capacitor to prevent AC noise at the input. The trim pot is connected as shown. The schematic is generated as follows. We will be using the ADLM1000 kit as a power source for the VCC 5 volts. The multimeter is used as a continuity tester for this setting. This is how it is configured. We will be continuity testing the VCC rail to pin 14 first. Next, we check the continuity of pin 7 to the ground. After the continuity is tested and is ok, we continue with the experiment. The multimeter is used as a voltmeter for this experiment. This is how it is configured. The range is set above 5 volts as shown here. We will be using the same multimeter to measure the input voltage and the output voltage. The experiment is to check the output voltage for various input voltages. I will be using the ADLM1000 kit as the power source for this experiment for this breadboard. I have powered on the ADLM1000. The experiment is to measure different output levels for various input voltage levels. Here I have connected the positive probe to pin 2. I have adjusted the potentiometer such that we have 0 0.20 volts as the input. For this value, I will check the output voltage level by connecting the probe to pin 3. So the output voltage is around 4.40 to 4.43 volts. Now taking it back to pin 2, I will adjust the potentiometer such that the input is 0.4. I am turning it anti-clockwise so that we get 0.4 as the input. Now that it's 0.4, I will take it back to pin 3 to measure the output voltage. So the output voltage is around 4.42 volts, around 4.42 volts. I will vary the input in steps of 0.2 so that I will have 25 readings in total until I reach 5 volts. Then we will plot the output voltage to each input voltage in steps of 
Now when the input is 4.4 volts, I will measure the output at pin 3. Here we can observe that when it is 4.4 volts, the output is 0 0.02 volts. Now I will increase the input by turning it anti-clockwise. Now I've set the input to be 4.6 volts. And I'll take the probe to pin 3 to measure the output. So the output is around 0 0.2 to 0 0.3 volts for the higher levels. Now for the different voltage readings that we got at the pin 3 for output, we'll have to plot it in this table so that we'll get the voltage transfer characteristics for this gate. With this, we can plot the values of the output voltage for each of the individual 25 readings of the input voltage. With this, we will have a graph of V out versus V input, which will eventually give us the voltage transfer characteristics of the NAND gate IC7400.